How this works now, your passenger will pull in, they'll back themselves up, they'll push the button on the wall, and when they, Carlin, please, thank you. When they push the button on the wall, the quantum arm will come out, down, and secure their mobility device in less than 20 seconds. All without any operator assistance, okay? What you're hearing now is the initial squeeze, which puts 25 pounds of pressure on the chair. The bus operator would then push the button on the dash. That initiates the final squeeze, which adds an additional 25 pounds of pressure, totaling 50. There's 50 pounds of pressure securing that chair right now. The chair is not going to tip over. And with this unit being rear facing on these heavy duty buses, these low four transit buses, what we have to worry about on these buses is the sudden stops, all that forward moving energy. And in the case uh, of that happening here, this backboard is absorbing all that energy, okay? So think about a passenger being over on the forward facing side. If that passenger doesn't have their lap and shoulder belt on, which they probably don't, at least according to the ops people we spoke to today, uh, which is not uncommon across the country. During that same stop, this person, even though their chair is secure, they're coming out of it, most likely, okay? Hard stop, sudden stop. Same scenario over here, all that forward moving energy is going right into this backboard, and the arms are preventing that passenger from tipping over. Every Quantum comes shipped with a lap and shoulder belt that's already in, it will be installed for you at the proper angle, proper height, lap belt extension. So if the passenger chooses to use that, they do have the ability to. And if, if they're able to do it themselves, great. If not, the operator uh, may need to assist. Okay. Now, the Quantum is interlocked through the parking brake. So when the parking brake is engaged like it is now, that button can be pushed. When the parking brake is disengaged, when the bus is moving, hit the button, Marlon, please. Nothing happens, okay? So that's one of the safety features we, we have built in. Also, when this station is not in use and it's in its stow position, the bus operator uh, can disable that switch so that no able-bodied passengers or children push the button um, and have the quantum start moving when it's not supposed to. So deboarding is the same. Passenger comes to their stop. They want to exit. I will say there's an obstruction in the way, a bag or an arm. The quantum will sense that. And after three attempts, will stop. It'll give a series of rapid beats that alert the operator to come and remove whatever the object was. Operator removes whatever it was, pushes the top button. Okay, so what this system does is it gives the passenger the independence to secure themselves, first and foremost, okay? Um, it is the safest way to travel. Think about your infants. Think about, uh, you know, it was just brought up today that it reminded me flight, flight attendants, stewardesses. They ride backwards in a plane. Any of you familiar with military uh, C-130s, cargo planes? Uh, the, the passengers ride rearward as well, and that's to brace for impact, okay? And that's exactly what this does here. So, while rear facing is still in its infant stages here in the States, we, um, we, see, we see it as the way of the future, we see it taking off. 
very popular in Canada, very popular in Europe, um, and it's just a matter of time before it becomes the standard here in my opinion. See how the chair is crooked, right? Okay, it's not perfectly uh, centered. So keep in mind the quantum is always reaching and seeking that 50 pounds of pressure, okay? Okay, final securement. Okay, I want you all to see this, it, and you may have to to uh, come around to see this, see the gap in there, okay? How it, the arm is not flush with the wheel. Over the course of the journey, as the bus moves, goes over bumps, around corners, and the chair moves, uh, adjust. it adjusts. Yeah. It's always seeking that 50 pounds, okay? So it's not gonna get looser, okay? It, it's not, it's gonna continue to stay tight. The question that was asked right now is what happens if the bus loses power basically or the quantum fails? How can we get our passenger out, okay? So there's a manual release on the side here. And what you do is simply take the key, the included key or a coin or a quarter um, or what have you. It's just a little slot in the plastic there, okay? You turn that. Twist a Zeus fitting, which is basically just a little black plastic key. Turn that and the arm comes out. Okay, if this bus has no power to it right now, we could have this done in 10 seconds. It's that simple, okay? For now, ADA states you have to have at least one forward facing location. So this is that forward facing location here. This being the rearward station so you won't see in the near future two rear facing stations and that's it so there always there still has to be a forward facing so basically it has about a 20 inch squeeze on the minimum 33 inch max so if a scooter if you say i don't know that looks a little bit too wide good rule of thumb is if it comes up the ramp and fits on the bus it will fit inside the quantum a minute and nine seconds is what I just timed from the time the passenger was out on the ramp till the time that the passenger was secured, bus was ready to leave, okay? What we found is that a traditional securement time is anywhere between three to five minutes with operator involvement, okay? So not only does it speed up the boarding process, reduces dwell time, and gives the passenger the independence of securing themselves. The Quantum doesn't distinguish the difference between this four-wheel device, that manual chair, a three-wheel scooter. It's going to secure all of them the same way. Okay, so it kind of takes the human element out of it. 